Hello, hello, hello. I am Alan Levine. Some people call me Cog Dog on the internet. I think I like to learn to be able to like talk and play guitar at the same time. But uh, I'm a friend of Brian Jackson. Uh, gotten to hang out with him a couple times in Vancouver and play with him. And he's taught me some things. And and um, uh, I'm just uh, I'm in awe of his ability especially since he's been playing for 10 years. And Jabiz, you know, Jabiz Rizdana, I saw your video, Jabiz, and, and you talk about, you know, you've been playing forever and you're not very good and you do all this crazy finger-pricking stuff, finger-pricking stuff. So, um, I think I got you all, I'm older, much older. This guitar is a Takamini. Let's see if I get the thing in there. Ah, it's on the glare. Uh... This is the one I learned on when I was 15. I've had this guitar for 35 years. And uh, like, uh, like the other two, I'm still learning how to play it. But uh, when I was 15, I decided, like most 15 year olds, that I was gonna be a rock and roll guitar player. And um, so I told my parents I wanted to learn to play guitar. And of course, you know, 15 year old, you know, you're kind of flaky, you do things like try something new every week. So they didn't invest a lot of money. So they started me off and I had this red, white, and blue guitar. It was embarrassing. It was like a toy thing. Uh, but they said if I stuck with it for, I forgot what they said, three months, six months, um, that they would let me get uh, a better guitar. So I did, you know, I did learn some chords, learn a little theory. Uh, I was playing uh, America, a little bit of Jackson Brown. I still have one of my books, I think. Anyhow, um, so then they bought this guitar for me, this Takamini, which is basically a Japanese uh, Martin knockoff. And I think this is the one, this is the, the model they got in trouble with because that little script there looks just like Martin. So guitar, I still want to play. I just like playing. Um, I don't really play in front of people all that much except hanging out with Brian and friends in Vancouver. Um, but just doing that over the last year or two on DS-106 Radio, which is another thing, got me um, at least being a little bit more bold to, to play, but you now I'm stuck in three chords. I got the three chord blues, you know, I like it, it's fun. Uh, I want to learn to mix it up, uh, just some different progressions, some different ways of playing. Um, I want to learn, I want to play the hearts harmonica. I've been talking to Brian about that. And I did get a rack, like Brian suggested, so I can learn how to play, but I still can't really, like, I can't play it very good right now. I got a book for that, but I can't really get the um, the rhythm, you know, guitar rhythm doing, doing something different with my uh, uh, chords. So, um, lately, I've been really taken by Jack White. What I like about his playing is like he does some really basic stuff. I mean, they're all major chords. And he does a lot of twists and turns on it, but um, it's really approachable and stuff that I can play. And and then I guess what I really want to do is like find my own style because it's one thing just to you know learn how to play something exactly like someone else. Um, so and since I can't really do that well, I like trying to do. I guess I like trying to. Um, Maybe find my own interpretations of songs and play them just a little bit differently. So mainly, of course, I don't know, hopefully it'll just get me playing a lot more. Because um, that's all it is. I mean, you just got to play a lot and a lot and a lot. And I slack off, like I let years go by and this thing gets dusty and uh, that's not good. So uh, my goal for the next couple, what is it, weeks, whatever, is to be driven to do just play more and, and, and try some new stuff. So I uh, hope to see you there. Man, I've been yabbing for a long time.